Hi, my name is Odilia Romero. I am the co-founder and executive director of Comunidades Indígenas en Liderazgo, a Cielo, a women's rights organization, an indigenous people's rights organization, women founded, women led, with an investment, an intentional investment in indigenous young women and young men. Just coming, having that migration journey uh, and language being like one of the main reasons of human rights violations and it's close to my heart and that's how I became a language rights advocate and you know it, it is a human right to have access to information in your language. One word makes a difference. So I became an interpreter out of need, just like Malinche did, and just like thousands of kids across the U.S. become interpreters today because there's a need, because people don't know that we exist as indigenous people. People don't know that Mexico, there are 68 nations and 364 languages, or the Mayan um, family of languages, there are over 30 of them, right? So people do not know that, and that's what forces us as indigenous kids to become interpreters. So we're in the heart of South Central LA and South Central has a large population of indigenous peoples from um, uh, Guatemala and Mexico. Like if you are here on the Friday, you'll hear a brass band next door of an indigenous person. And then you'll hear, a, you, will, you will see a taco stand by the Mija Nation. Like if you've eaten street tacos in LA, listen to what they're li what they're speaking they're not speaking spanish they're most likely speaking an indigenous language that is mije because all most of the street taco vendors are indigenous people from the state of oaxaca of the mije nation right so there's a large population of indigenous people we have to create our own space our own training our own conference because many times at this conference we were the token you know oh yeah they're gonna come and speak or they spoke for us and we needed to create a space where we speak for ourselves. And to think, like when I interpret, I'm not gonna do it for the money, I'm gonna do it for the right of my relative. Because we go back to languages, the roots of all your rights. Without language, you have no rights. Without language, you have no access to the education. Without language, you can't get the medical care that you need. Without language, you cannot communicate if you've been a victim of a crime. Uh, we created our own curriculum. We train people every two weeks. Um, we have the largest interpreters conference uh, of indigenous people here in the U.S. We just had one recently. So we began to create in our own spaces. We know for a fact, like for indigenous and black people, the doors are not going to open. You're going to have to create your own house and bring in your own crew, your own people.